make sure you check out the description before you watch this video. What up fam? Today's an easy run day. Post race, easy run. Taking today super easy and today's purpose is recovery. Gonna keep the heart rate low, get that blood flowing. Rocking the new Nike Infinity Run reacts. Love them. Why are easy runs so important? They bridge the gap between workouts and races. They help get your legs back underneath you. And you gotta make sure you run them slow. Did I mention run them slow? You wanna keep these easy runs anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. It will help with the recovery process. You wanna be within 60 to 65% of your max heart rate or so. It should feel really easy. I would definitely say that was probably one of the biggest mistakes I made being a younger runner, especially in high school, is running my uh, easy runs too hard. And if you don't run your easy runs easy enough, your body won't adapt or have a hard time adapting. I prefer a 20 minute hobby jog over a complete day off. Trust me, your legs will feel a lot better the next day. Just ran my first mile at 1019. Trust the process. And on some recovery days, you'll notice that your heart rate is actually higher and your pace is slower and that's okay. Don't get discouraged. Don't become the slave to the watch. Just run by feel. Just breathe, take in the scenery, relax, enjoy the run. Ran my second mile in 8.48, ease into it. Not gonna go any faster. Nine ten for my last mile. So trucking along nice and easy. I'm doing 60 to 65 minutes total worth of running. I'm gonna incorporate about six strides at the end to Get the legs loose. Also helps with recovery, increase muscle fiber recruitment. So you feel better the next day. That is the premise behind doing strides the day before a race and right before too. About to head there in a bit as well. Get my lift down. I also like lifting on my easy days too, especially if it's the day before a workout or sometimes after a hard effort. So as a race, but back off slightly. You raise muscle tension, you increase testosterone and growth hormone output so you recover quicker. Also check out my strength training for distance runners video. I'll have a link posted at the end of this video. I head through some trails, I'll take you guys along. Gotta chase my dog. He's on a leash. Eight fifty four that last mile. Keep on trucking, trust the process. Sherwood High School's track. Pretty nice track. There's some nutria here. Pretty much water type radicates. Let's see if I can catch any on camera. Quack, quack. Hey, what do you want? What do you want, little ducky? Quack, quack. Hey, I don't have any food. What do you want? Hey, hey, buddy. The legendary Nutria. Nutria myocaster coipus. Nutria are native to South America and are invasive species in the US. They are commonly mistaken for beavers, but their white muzzle and whiskers, as well as their thin mouse like whatever, you can set them apart. Nutria. They are rare. Water type eradicate. I think they're considered the largest vernon. They're pretty cool. Check them out. Nutria. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, Nutria. Hey. And here we have a Nutria in the wild. It's got her back turned against me. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. 
view. Really nice out, listen to all those nature sounds. Ten oh eight, that last mile. Watch your step. Up this hill. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for when I post my next video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.